Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Lehman. And basically, um, what I'm doing here is a short little video for someone who asked me to do a comparison between the Night Lolita dolls and the Bae dolls. Now, I'm going to give you guys the pros and cons of each of these dolls. Now, we're going to start with the Night Lolita doll. Now, if you want an expensive doll, Night Lolita is a pretty good doll when it comes to expensive. Now, the cheapest I've ever seen a Night Lolita doll is $50. The most expensive I've ever seen her is three to two hundred dollars, and that usually means that the doll has been given a special face up, special clothes, special everything. So the doll is high end. The clothes are made handmade. The makeup is done handmade, and basically they actually get artists to come in. So it's most likely that you can probably remove this that doll's skull. Now, as for this young lady, you can find her the same way, but she's still cheaper than in the Night Lolita dolls. Now, as for size reference to these dolls, they're both the same size. There is no difference in their size. They are both the exact same size. The Night Lolita doll, which is Rose, the one with the tattoo, she has a smaller head. And there's a reason why. The Night Lolitas are actually based on characters from a TV show. So the mold to these dolls will never match a single mold. So they have different molds. That is a pro for these dolls. Now cons for the Night Lolita doll is that, like I said, they're expensive. They do have a count of male. They do have male dolls in the Night Lolita line. And the problem with their male line is that their male line never goes down in price. The highest I've ever seen is $195. The lowest I've ever seen is $77. So that is that doesn't work for the Night Lolita doll very well. Now, as for articulation, if you want a doll with high articulation, get the Night Lolita line because she does have a high, high articulation. And she's well built. That's one thing that's another con for her. Pro for her, and she is very well built. I mean, this dog can survive a lot. She can be broken, but it'll take a lot to break her. Now, this girl here, whole different tale. Tigress, move! And say hey to Tigress. Tigress, say hey, kitty, kitty. <laughs> say hey. she been bad, y'all. Anyway, getting back to it. Now, as for this line, which is the Bayi dolls. Which is my lovely Nancy Ann Lewis. Um, she is a Bae doll. Now, when it comes to her, she is the exact same size as the Night Lolita doll. Her head is a little bit bigger, but not by much. When you get her, her hair is rooted. You can remove the hair if you want. You can purchase this doll without hair. Now, that is a bit of a pro in her, her favor. As well as you can buy her for a cheaper, more affordable price. You can purchase this girl. Now, here's the key to it. You can purchase her on the body of the Night Lolita doll. Now, if you do that, that means you go for the higher end body dolls. Now, when it comes to cons to this little lady here, is the fact that her face is generic. She basically has the same mold no matter what. You can choose different hair colors, but she still has the exact same mold no matter what. The eyes, same. Mold, same. Hair color, different. So you have to make her different by painting her or something. Whatever you decide to do. Now, she does have some pros. Now, the, now the, the other con that she has is her articulation is very low. And she's not well built. Guys, when it comes down to it, her body is very, it, it can break. When I say it can break, she's made of hard plastic. She can snap. If you don't be careful with her, she will snap. But if you get her... And if she's in good condition, then you shouldn't have any problem with holding on to this girl. So she does have a pro and con when it comes to the strength of her body. Now, as for her hair quality, beautiful. 
She has beautiful hair, guys. That hair is so soft when it comes to you. Gorgeous. A lot of people may say that she has very thin hair. But if she had too much hair, it would be too thick. And you know what happens when you give a doll too much hair. But other than that, beautiful, soft, gorgeous hair. She is a very beautiful doll. And like I said, she is a budget line to the Night Lolita dolls. Now, as for the Night Lolita dolls, when it, now, now the other half of it, articulation. Now, the beauty about it is the one I have here is the $20 doll. And you basically get, can get her, and she doesn't have a lot of articulation in, in her. She has articulation in her shoulders, in her elbows, as well as her wrists, her thighs, her thigh, upper thighs, her knees, and which she's double jointed in the knee, guys, and <coughs> ankles. You have to be careful with her ankles and her wrists because those are breakable. If you bend that back too far, it will snap. And when you get her, make sure you heat up the head to put it back on the body. Because if you don't, you can easily break the neck peg inside of the neck peg. This is what I'm saying when I say she's a budget line doll. Now, if you want her a little bit better, then you pay for the ones that are about $35 to $36. Those dolls there are actually on the Night Lolita line bodies. So you get a doll that is kind of generic, but you get the Night Lolita bodies. And there's even ones that supposedly work or something like that. But I have no idea. I, I don't know whether she works or not. I didn't get that one. So guys, when it comes to comparing these beautiful girls, they are a great doll and a great alternative to paying the $50 for the Night Lolita line. Now, if you don't want to pay, if you want the Night Lolita dolls, you get a little bit more. And plus the fact that when it comes down to it, the clothes that comes for the Bayi dolls will fit <laughs> your Night Lolita doll. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to dress these girls. And yes, they do still wear the 18-inch American doll girl clothes. So these dolls are beautiful and they are worth the money that you pay. So don't think just because you got to be careful with them that they're breakable somewhat that you don't have you don't want to buy them. I'm telling you, guys, they're worth the money you pay. I'm telling you, these girls are worth the money you pay. You got to remember that the Bayi dolls are a budget line version of the Night Lolitas, and guys, you should know there are new hair colors out coming out has came out. Till uh, one of the colors is a teal green. The other one is a purple, as well as pink and silver. So guys, if you find them on AliExpress, I suggest you get you some where you can, because I plan on buying me one as well. But other than that, guys, these are great dolls. And don't let anybody tell you that they're cheap plastic. They are a cheaper version, but only because of the articulation, I think. So I really don't mind that they're like that. But it doesn't really matter whether they have a lot of articulation as long as they can, as long as I can dress them up and they can be as beautiful as they want to. But these are gorgeous dolls. They do take paint very well, and I'm going to prove it to you. See that girl there, the African-American one I have? That's actually a Bayi doll that I painted. So I promise you guys, if you want to arc these beautiful girls, Get them, go ahead, or come turn them into what you want. You can remove the head cap. You can remove the eyes. You can purchase these girls without hair. And I think the price range for that one is about $18 to $15. You can purchase just the bodies. So, believe you me, when it comes down to it, you're not li unlimited. You, you have unlimited ideas for these dolls. They are awesome dolls to have, and they're beautifully matched. I think they beautifully match the uh, Night Lolitas perfectly. They're a cheaper version to the Night Lolitas. And basically, you do want, most people do like the Night Lolitas because they're a little more fancier, they're a little more graceful looking, and they have different face scopes and molds. But, for a, if you want a doll to just orc and turn into what you want it to be, then this is the girl for you. 
she will basically be whatever you want. You can do that to the Night Lolita as well, like I said. And But other than that, they are beautiful. Both sets of dolls are beautiful. And they're perfect for a little girl that you want to you wanna have this, this doll in your family. So guys, um, I, I'm not going to tell you never to get one because these girls are so worth it. When you get them, you feel so good when you get them. So guys, these dolls are awesome. Doll. So that's the comparison. The the Night Lolita doll is more of a sculpted doll where she has different face molds. Where the body dolls does not have a different face mold. They have the exact same face molds. There are others that have came out in the last couple of months that have different face molds. But mostly <laughs> she will have the same face mold no matter what. So these girls are perfect for you if you like these type of dolls and they are the exact same size 22 inches 60 centimeters one third size and they do fit one third size doll clothes shoes exact same thing they do fit the tennis shoes including <coughs> shoes for them but yeah these are <coughs> amazing dolls to all guys so I'm going to go guys because I'm starting to cough again. And I'm so sorry. I do have another video coming out guys. And it's to review that big girl right there. I'm so sorry that my house looks like a mess. But like I said I've been sick. And I haven't had time to do anything. Until then guys. I'm going to say peace out. Good luck. And don't let the, these dolls because of their price range turn you off them. They are beautiful dolls, and they're worth the money you spend on them. So I'm going to say peace out, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys later.